Contractors always tell people if it's not clay, it's rock. If it's not rock, it's clay. That's pretty much what we got. Those are the soil conditions that Superintendent Butch Sheffield has managed here at Northridge Country Club in Raleigh for 26 years. Northridge is a private, family-oriented club with two 18-hole golf courses. We have the Lakes Golf Course, which we own now. The Lakes is a, uh, was uh, originally designed by Gene Ham and George Cobb. Mr. Cobb did nine holes and Mr. Ham did nine holes. Then we have the Oaks Golf Course. Again, Mr. Cobb did nine holes, Mr. Ham did nine holes. It's sort of an odd combination, but that's just the way it was done because it was done in two different stages. Both courses were built when it was possible to dam a creek and create lakes for irrigation. Today, that pond quite obviously wouldn't be there, but they dammed up the creeks that run through the property and built this lake. And then down on our Oaks Golf Course, we also have another lake just about the same size. The lakes are the club's sole source of irrigation water. You don't have to be regulated because you only got X amount of water and many a year it's like we can pump say 1.3 million gallons now. We get into late summer and have a drought, we'll be down to 225,000 gallons a night. And so as we go into the summer, we're just very conservative about water uses uh, because we know that we can quickly get into the situations again. Butch needs to make sure he gets value out of every drop of water. That means getting it to infiltrate the soil and down where it's needed, especially on greens in the heat and humidity of summer. What we cannot allow happen is that water to stand on top of that green. If it stays on top of that green, then we're going to get the disease problems, uh, and then you're, you know, just massive amounts of fungicides. With heavy clay and rocky soil beneath fairways and tees as well, Butch treats a permanent condition with a permanent solution by injecting duplex from Precision Laboratories through the irrigation system. We use the duplex product again 24-7. If the pump station comes on, duplex goes through the system. And we even run it during the winter. If we water anything during the winter, the duplex runs. It doesn't make any difference. And all we got to do, if we want to add more, we turn the dial up. If we want to do less, we turn the dial down. Butch gave us a look at the irrigation injection system. Uh, we're more or less just looking at our pump station here and how we have set up to uh, pump the uh, duplex or the wetting agent, which are uh, out onto the golf course. And we have two pumps here, one for each golf course. Each line runs to a separate golf course. Each meter is set here. We can set it ever how much uh, fluid we want to pump out in, in, uh, in relationship to the amount of water that we're also pumping out. So we have it now set at about 20% to 21%. Therefore, giving us about a gallon per 100,000 gallons of water. And we pretty much come upon that just trial and error the first year we literally would mark on the side of the uh, tanks uh, each day we would pump and then calculate how much water read off our water meters and then cal and, uh, calculate off of the tank how much we had used and pretty well got it set that we knew we were putting out about a gallon per 100,000. Butch lists a number of advantages to injecting duplex through his irrigation system. The biggest advantage is we believe that we get a more even distribution of it and also uh, it, it's pretty much automatic. So it makes it a lot more efficient way for us to do it, a lot easier way for us to do it, and we just cover everything. Although water and rain weren't an issue when we visited, efficient water management is crucial, and injecting duplex helps Butch get the most out of the water available.